David, in trying to understand the nature of time, I'm told that we should consider time in a spatial sense, the so-called spatialization of time. So what does it mean? That is, the way time appears in physics is as another component in the address of an event. What physics aspires to tell you is how events are distributed over different values of these spatial and temporal axes. What is missing from this metaphysical framework from which physics starts out are these notions of flow, these notions of passage, these notions of becoming, so on and which so forth. Which to forth. normal people is time. Which, which to <laughs> normal people certainly is time. The trouble is that if you try to formalize these notions so that they're fit to do jobs in a discourse that you want to be extremely clear and extremely explicit and extremely logical, it's hard to know how to do that. People talk about time flowing. A common question that gets asked of such people is, how fast is it flowing? And you know, maybe the normal answer is, I don't know, one second per second. And the next question is, gee, and what would it be like if it were flowing two seconds per second instead of one second per second? It's not even clear what that means, yeah, okay? Right. The claim that time is flowing at one second per second doesn't have the feel of a claim about how the world is. It has the feel of something that's true by definition. Mm -hmm. It's like saying a bachelor is an unmarried male or, right. or, or something like that. And what physics has always been about since its beginnings was to give an account of the tracks that material bodies make through this four-dimensional arena, okay? Through this spatio-temporal arena. There are all sorts of senses in which Einsteinian relativity made that spatialization more vivid, more explicitly geometrical, so on and so forth, but since the beginnings of the scientific revolution, um, since Galileo, since Newton, we've been dealing with time as a parameter, okay? And we haven't been able to make fundamental metaphysical sense of talk of time's flow, of time's passage. This is talk that physics needs to account for in the way that physics accounts for the fact that, say, uh, if you put a pencil in a glass of water, the pencil appears to be bent, mm -hmm. okay, um, even though it isn't. Science, whenever it encounters something puzzling, always has two options, okay? It has, it has the option of explaining it, and it has the option of explaining it away, okay? Mm -hmm. It's the second strategy of explaining it away that we apply to the bent appearance of a pencil in a glass of water, and it's the second strategy of explaining it away that we apply to our sensation um, or, or to our temptation to use words like passage and flow to describe our experience of time.